Hi, this is Tracy with Salad and Wine, and I just got home from Creek View with this delicious Chardonnay. I can't wait to open it up and make our salad. So as you heard earlier, this Chardonnay is very buttery and oaky, smooth as silk. I absolutely love it. And today we are going to make a salad with black beans and corn. So the first thing you do is you take beans, dried beans, pop, and you soak them and you soak them overnight, then you drain the water off and then you cook them like in a crock pot or something so that you don't have to buy canned beans. And they only cook, it only takes a few hours to cook them and then you keep them in the fridge and you can use them for all different kinds of salads. And I will show you many different salad recipes for black beans, those are my favorite, and also pinto beans. So today what we're going to do is combine a few different things. So, but it's Saturday night and it's 5.30, so it's time for some wine. Mmm, that's like the best. This, the 2009 I don't think has been judged yet, but they're 2008. In 2007, I know that Creekview has won some awards on, so it's good stuff. Okay, so with our recipe, the first ingredient is two cups of black beans. And like I said, these were cooked in the crock pot, and um, so I just measured out two cups. Then we're going to have a cup of pinto beans and a cup of corn. Now, I have to admit, I didn't do the corn the way I like to do it because I'm having this big party tomorrow and life is crazy and I don't have time. But what's really yummy is we have a garden and we're growing corn and what we do is we like to barbecue it. And you put butter on it and you barbecue it on the Traeger and then you slice it off. And that will make the salad taste even better. But for today, I used a can of corn. So then we use red onion. And I know that you guys know I love red onion. So I am going to slice some red onion and put it in. So I'm just going to use for that amount about a half. And you actually chop it as fine as you can so that it goes. This is actually um, kind of a chopped salad. It can be used as a dip if you like. Um, but it's very good. And the, the salad that we're going to use, the lettuce, is the lettuce that I got at Why Not Organics when I was there the other day. So that's, that's yummy too. It's actually beautiful baby lettuce. So the red onion, actually upon looking at this, I think I'm only going to use a quarter of a red onion. So, oops, I didn't cut those pieces very well. Oh gosh, you know, I think I'm just going to use a half. I mean, it adds a lot of spice and it's good. Good for you. And it adds color. So, get it all nice and chopped fine. I'm going to need a bigger bowl. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Mm. Next we're going to do avocado and tomato. Let's see which avocado is the ripest. So remember my trick on doing avocado? We're going to make lines going vertically, then flip it and go horizontal. And then all you got to do is scoop it out. Super easy, not messy at all. Okay. And we've got to take out the pit. A friend of mine has an avocado tree, and she said that her dogs wait until they're just ready to be eaten. And then they pick the avocado and munch on it. 
I'm like, I've never heard of a dog eating an avocado off a tree before, but I love avocado. Okay. And I'm actually going to put two avocados in because it gives it creaminess. Really good. So my husband tested for his third degree black belt in the last week and a half. And my middle son, Nick, tested for his second degree black belt. So they have been crazy. So tomorrow we're going to have a party to celebrate their efforts and their achievement. So that's why we're going to do this salad because it's going to be perfect for tomorrow. And I'll show you how that actually works. This is one of those good make ahead recipes. Good for summer. And for Chardonnay that's nice and buttery. I would love to grow some grapes on our property and be able to partner up with them since they're such good winemakers. That'd be so good. Okay, I hope I didn't get any skin in that one. There we go. Okay, two avocados. And I think my bowl is going to be too small. Yikes. <laughs> okay, now what? All right, so next we're going to use tomatoes. Our garden does not have tomatoes yet, which is crazy since it's the end of July. But what we'll do is use these. These have good flavor. Um, they're small, so they're easy to dice up without a lot of seeds, which makes it a little better. So I'm just going to cut, eat, cut them in half and then cut them into six pieces, like threes, like that. So they're just kind of finely diced. And <laughs> I was going to put all those tomatoes, but since the bowl is kind of small, I think I'm not. <laughs> okay. That bowl is for the lettuce because I was going to layer the lettuce in it. <laughs> So my dad's here visiting from Florida, and I think he thinks I'm nuts, but that's okay. We'll get used to it once he becomes like my biggest fan on the show. <laughs> He's over in the studio audience. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, I'm going to dump it. I just can't. This bowl is just too small. Because what we do is we mix it all in the dressing anyways. Okay, so let's finish up the tomatoes. And then we will whip up the dressing and toss it all up. And then what you do is you just simply serve this mixture over a bed of lettuce and it's already dressed and everything which is perfect high protein healthy it's vegan I'm not a vegan but if you if you are then this is a good recipe for you got a lot of good fiber And beautiful, beautiful color. So, and like I said earlier, you can also use it as a dip. And like maybe with um, some sourdough bread, like a sourdough baguette, slice it up and um, broil it in the oven. And then you can use this as a dip with it. Or you can make some tortilla chips or buy some organic tortilla chips at Costco because that's easier and um, use that but I like it just as a salad so now we're going to make the dressing and this is one of the secrets to this recipe so the first thing we need to do is make lime juice 
And I know you've seen my fancy lime squeezer, which is so easy to use. So we're going to squeeze a third of a cup of fresh lime juice. And since my husband just finished this test, pretty much, with the leftovers, we'll make margaritas. Ah. For him, anyway. I'm going to stick with this creep view. Okay, we've got to a third of a cup yet. Yes, we have. And you know what? Next, we need olive oil. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, so a third of a cup of lime juice, a half a cup of olive oil, and I will post the recipe so you don't need to worry about writing it all down. It will be posted. Now, a clove of garlic, but you know me, I like two extra garlic. Two cloves of garlic, a teaspoon of sea salt. And then an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne. I gotta be careful that the lid doesn't fall off. So I'm using a measuring. Actually, that's a quarter, but I'm just gonna put it in half. And then we'll zip it up. There, that was fast. The blend tech's the best. So pour the dressing over the entire salad. And it's good because the more it sits, the more flavor it gathers together and then we're going to toss it so beautiful colorful red yellow green brown purple black oh my gosh it's so delicious it's good if you can let it sit for a couple hours so that the flavors kind of all meld together and then serve it over a bed of lettuce and you've got a perfect beautiful salad so after you mix the mixture then what we do is take a bowl and these are the beautiful fresh baby greens from why not organic so i'm so excited to try because they just picked them and just shred them up. Okay, so you know it's organic lettuce when you see those kind of holes in it. That's all good. And we're gonna shred the lettuce and take a spoon serving. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so this hasn't sat, but that's okay. I don't care because it still tastes amazing. So then we put it the bean mixture on top of the lettuce and just garnish with some cilantro and there you have it cowboy caviar salad and creek view yummy buttery chardonnay bon appetit